Hello, I'm Dr. Asada Haki, and welcome to some appetizers from the spiritual cuisines that I provide. Um, in this moment, what I want to share is a little bit about the Kabbalion. If you don't know about the Kabbalion, it is um, it is a great book that can help you start to understand how you operate as a spiritual being or as a mental being, right? Um, but my point of this is to share some of the things that I have been experiencing and coming to realize that, oh my gosh, this is how I have been balancing the seven principles or working with these seven principles. Now, the seven principles, I'm going to give them to you. Uh, the principle of mentalism, the principle of correspondence, the principle of vibration, the principle of polarity, the principle of rhythm, the principle of cause and effect, and the principle of gender. But in this video, I'm going to share what I came to realize that I have been mastering within the last, since the fall, or since I turned 50 years old in August of last year. Um, four particular of uh, the seven principles. So in October, things just started like falling. Things just, uh, people fall off, people fell off, excuse me. Um, my house started falling apart. Um, I started seeing people and realizing people love me, but not really like me or really truly support me, which is cool, that's fine. But my whole point of this is how I responded, not realizing how I was responding with the utilization of these particular principles. So one of them is the principle of mentalism, which is all is mine. So all is mine mean that all is universal mind. We're all just a part of the universal mind. We are all just images and likeness of the great divine. That is what that means. We all come from the same source, the same substance. We're just individually outputs from the void. So knowing that everything is mental is mindful to be, um, to understand your vibration. Now, if you really want power over your life, master your vibration because nothing rests, everything moves, everything vibrates. That means that your thoughts never stop. Just because you don't talk does not mean that <laughs> It doesn't mean that you're not thinking, you know, you're not feeling, you know what I'm saying? It's subconsciously and conscious, right? So you might be conscious of the, um, more conscious of your conscious thoughts, but what about your subconscious thoughts? What is, what lies in your subconscious mind that's constantly creating situations and experiences that you don't want? So you have to become aware of the things that you have placed in the back of your mind that you claim that, oh, they don't bother you or it's not an issue or the things that you just refuse to deal with, okay? Those things are constantly running in the background. It's like you have your phone and you're like, okay, I'm not using my phone, so why is the battery dying? Because of what the apps that are running in the background. So your subconscious mind, those thoughts are apps running in the background constantly, constantly creating situations and experiences that you don't want to experience. So for me, with that, I had to understand, like, okay, I came to realize that, okay, my, on, in, in, in November, right before Thanksgiving, my furnace went out. So I'm living without heat in the house, normal heat. I have my oven. I'm good. Um, then my water tank, hot water tank went out, right? And so I have to boil water in order to clean, wash, and take a bath. When that all happened, I had no issues. I didn't understand why I was like, okay, well, I do have water to boil, so I still can have hot water. So that is part of the principle of polarity and working with the principle of rhythm, right? Along with the principle of vibration. So my vibration stayed up here. My frequency never failed just because 
things start falling apart in my home, um, no work coming, so there's no clients, so there's no financial flow coming in. But at the same time, I still feel like all is well, right? Because I wanted to know, why is this happening? So, of course, I came to know why. That's on a personal level. I'll share that in another video that has nothing to do with this. But the principle of polarity, everything is dual, right? So to master polarity is, or the art of polarization, is mental alchemy, which means that everything has an opposite, right? So over here, all is good. And then over here, things may not be so good. So for me, I have a home, right? But the heat ain't working. The hot water tank ain't working. But I'm grateful. So my vibration stays up because at least I have my home, right? <laughs> at least I have a oven or a stove to keep me warm. I have a heater and then I had a neighbor, you know, that allowed me to borrow one of his heaters. So it's like, I'm still warm. I still can clean. I still can wash myself. I still have hot water. So I was able to mentally alchemize any kind of upsets that may have tried to come upon me and bring my vibration down, taking me out of a higher operating frequency to a low vibrating frequency. No, 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 no. Because I was able to be grateful for what I already have and grateful that I still have things that I can utilize to make sure I still survive, that I'm still good. So my mental says, I'm good because I know that this too shall pass. So my vibration and the thoughts running in the background is ways to bring or to manifest or to draw unto me those souls and those opportunities that will make all of this come to pass. And it happened, right? But I'm still waiting, but it's a process. So I'm trusting in the process, which means I'm keeping my vibration up because I'm trusting and knowing that what I put out will come back, right? And in regards to the principle of rhythm, it's like you always have ebb and flows, but it's what you do with the ebbs while you're still flowing. Because again, vibration, everything, it just can constantly go, right? So in the rhythm of the ebb and the flow, while you're constantly flowing, never stopping, how are you reacting to the abs? When you bump up against the rock, while you're flowing down the river. Bump up against the tree limb, how are you flowing, right? How are you reacting to the things that happen? Are you tripping? Are you panicking? Because when you do that, that means you're doubting the fact that you have the power to manifest and bring to you the things that will aid you and help you. But in the meantime of those things blossoming, how are you reacting to you, to yourself, based on your vibration and how you are dealing with your polarity and the rhythm of the polarity that's happening within your vibration, okay? So even though things may happen, you have to step back and say, okay, yes, this happened. One, why did it happen? And allow your I am presence or your divine self to respond. And then you will see what you were supposed to get. Some people, some things happen to people to sit you on your ass. Because people are always going, going, thinking you got to go. The rhythm, go, 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 go. When your spirit self is saying, I need you to sit down because there's another direction I want to take you to. Especially if you're going, going, going and nothing is happening or it's the same old thing that's going on in your life and you're mad and you're tired of this. Every time I try, nothing happens. But your spirit self keep allowing things to happen so you can sit your ass down so that you can get rerouted into the direction that your soul know that it is time to take. So sometimes things happen to sit you down to listen to the divine self of you of which way to go or to show you what is happening. And then it's things that happen because there's people who are with you who are not supposed to go with you the rest of the way, okay? So there's many reasons as to why things outside of you happen. But first you got to control what's and understand what's going on within you. 
What are you producing? What are you constantly rotating out into the universe? And how are you dealing with it when it comes to the poles of what you want? And how are your rhythms flowing, connecting to what you want? Okay? So, I hope that this was helpful. Um... I am available for bookings for spiritual coaching if you're interested in how to bring you into self-mastery step by step while trusting the process of your own divine spirit. So, I love you. Peace, love, and light and healing to you all. And namaste. I've been Dr. Osada Haki and this has been some spiritual cuisine for your soul.